Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, this is Watchman Yahoo the Israel. Let's get it in, y'all. Um, let's rock. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as uh, Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study. Um, on this uh, third day in uh, July. Aria, what's up? Kathy, what's up? Good to see you on, young lady. Young ladies, that's what's up. Last time I was teaching, um, what was it, this morning? It was a good lesson too and the thing like froze. Yep, you made it, man, and boy, am I happy, man. Pastor Gillette, good to see you on, sir. Good for chiming. I just came from the gym, and I'm whooped. Trying to run around the gym like I know how to box. <laughs> What's up, Big Sean? Let's dive in this world. Let's do something comprehensive real quick. Um, Thought-provoking message. So here we go. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians, y'all. 1 Corinthians um, <clears throat> 11 and 31. Let me move this so I can see. 11 and 31. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble to know how. Ask you to send a relevant word to this here. Your people make it comprehensive and plain that we may grow thereby. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua, I'm see us. We only pray. Hallelujah. And all oh, man. Um, first Corinthians uh, eleven and thirty-one. Let's rock, y'all. Look what it say. It say uh for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged we're chastened of Yah that we should not be condemned with the world. Interesting. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Um... One of the coolest things about being saved is, um, you know, the opportunity to, like, be honest. And it's a unique type of honesty. Um, it would be one being honest, you know, with themselves. And that seems to be so simple if 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 you let us tell it about ourselves it seems so simple but in actuality as simple as as it seems it it can be pretty challenging it can be difficult yeah because we as people have a tendency to uh, make excuses for ourselves. Yeah, we um, we we see ourselves in in a in a in a in a, in a certain light, and and it, it can make it real difficult for us to be, you know, to be honest with ourselves. <clears throat> um. I said a long time ago, but it's just the truth. But you know how American Idol, you got all these thousands of people singing at the beginning of the show. And they use the beginning of the show as, as comedy because they show a bunch of people that's convinced they can sing. They can't. And people just be cracking up laughing, just laughing, laughing, laughing. Um, now, now, some of those people 
after the show feel suicidal. Feel like the, the rug just got pulled from up under them. They, 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 some folks are humiliated to the point of scorn based on a lie that they believed that led them to get on national television to make a fool of themselves. That gives you a glimpse in how hard it is for people to judge themselves. Because whoever told them they couldn't sing, those people looked at them like they were haters. And you couldn't tell them they couldn't sing. Then it does re reflect a smaller percentage of people that people just lied to and laughed behind their back. Some folks, you know, use them as a joke. Yeah, you can sing. You can say, come sing for my friends. Would you come sing for my birthday party? Because they're going to have drinks and then, uh, you know, crack up laughing. But that's just a glimpse of how difficult it is for one to align themselves up with truth, judge themselves. Um, the popularity of false doctrine, a doctrine that would deliver one into heaven regardless of how evil one lives. The popularity of that doctrine comes from the inability for people to be honest with themselves. So they got to go to a plan B gospel, a plan B gospel, right? You got the Messiah saying stuff like go and sin no more. Caught the woman in adultery, so they say it. Brought her to him. He ran them off. Because they were scandalous as heck. They was religious too. So he ran them off. They dropped their rocks and ran. And then he asked the woman, where's your accuser? She said, there is none, master. And he said, well, I'm not going to accuse you. I'm not going to condemn you then. He said. But he said, but go and sin no more. <clears throat> that was his opinion. In fact, in, in Matthew's Matayahu, right? 5 and 48, he said, be perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. And that's mature. Live upright. Live according to the word. That That's the real gospel as we dig deep, right? But people would look for holes in that based on their lifestyle because people have a difficulty of judging themselves. It's difficult. Let me show you something. Let's go to First Samuel right quick. I'm not going to get too deep into this. I just want to pull this part out, right? I just want to pull something out. So it's going to force me to read a little bit, but I just want to show you the de deceitfulness of, 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 of the heart, right? Look, look at this. First, First Samuel 15 and 1, right? Look what it says. It says, Samuel also said unto a soul, Saul, Saul, right? Yah sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now, therefore, hearken thou unto the voice of the words of Yah. Just said uh, the Elohim of hosts. I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in a way. And when he came up from Egypt, now go down and smite Amalek. Utterly destroy all that they have. Y'all heard that? Utterly destroy all that they have. Spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant, suckling, ox, sheep, camel, and ass. Saul so gathered the people together, numbered them, and uh, tell them 200,000 footmen, 10,000 men of uh, Judah. Saul so came to the city of Amalek and laid wait in the valley. And Saul so said unto the Kenites, Go depart, get down from among these Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you, for you show kindness to the children of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites. And Saul, Saul smote the Amalekites from Havilah unto the comers of Shur. That is over against uh, uh, Egypt. And he took Agad, the king of the Amal Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the swords. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep, and the best of the ox, and the fatling of the lambs, and all that was good. It would not only destroy them, but everything that was vile and refused, that they did utterly, that, that they destroyed utterly. Did he do what the Most High told him to do? 
No, he said kill everything. Don't spare nothing is what he was told. But the, but 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 Saul and the people spared the king and the sheep and the oxen, and the fatling, and the lambs, and everything that was good. And everything that wasn't cool, he destroyed it. All right, look at this though. Then came the word, uh, Yahuwah on the Samuel saying, "I regret," is what he's saying, "or he repented me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he turned back from following me and have not performed my commandments, and it grieved Samuel." And he cried unto Yahuwah all night. And when Samuel rose up early to meet Saul in the morning, it was told Samuel saying, uh, Saul came to Carmel and behold, he set him up a place. And it is gone about and passed on and gone down to Gilgal. And Samuel came to Saul and Saul said on him, look at how he greeted him. Saul, the one that didn't do what y'all say, right? Look how he greeted uh, Samuel when he was coming. Blessed be thou, O Yahuwah. I have performed the commandment of Yah. Y'all see that? Did he perform the commandment? No. But he said he did. And he was praised the Lord, brother. And Samuel, and Samuel said, What meaneth then the bleeding of the sheep in my ear? And the loading of the oxen which I hear. And Samuel said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice on the Yah, thy Elohim, and the rest we utterly destroyed. Is that what he was told to do? Then Samuel said unto Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what, what uh, Yah has said unto me this night. And he said, Say on. And Samuel said, When thou was humble, that's all this means, when thou was little in thine own sight, humble, right? Was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? And Yah anointed thee to be king over Israel? And Yah set thee on a journey and said, Go utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them, and utterly destroy them till they be consumed? Wherefore then did thou not obey the voice of Yah, but did fly on the spoils, and did even the sight of Yah? And Samuel said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of Yah. And I have gone the way that Yah sent me, and have brought Agag, why are you saying you did it and in the same sentence talking about the sin? That's what people do. I have obeyed the voice of Yah and gone the way which Yah sent me and I brought back Agad, the king of Amalekite, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people, now he's blaming the people, took the spoils, the sheep and the ox, and the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed to sacrifice on the yacht. But the people, they, they don't want sin, but they did it for a good reason to sacrifice on the yacht. Samuel said, has Yah as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of Yah? Behold, it's better to sacrifice. It's better, it better to obey than to sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of the ram. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as of is, is iniquity and adultery. Because thou has rejected the word of Yah, he has also rejected thee from being king. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the scripture. Yeah. Look what he said. Say, for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. If we if we're capable of judging ourselves. Who's capable? It's a beautiful thing that y'all don't want to judge you. He'll allow you to judge yourself and get it right. But you can't get it right if you don't admit you're wrong. How are you going to get it right if you won't even admit you're wrong? If you make excuses for living raggedy, for living in sin, and yet you and the Most High are still on good terms, then how can you get help if you cannot admit it? You, you, if you can't admit that you're living contrary to the most high, you swear you're on good terms, you swear he blessing you, yaliness is not gain, y'all. He reigned on the just as well as the unjust. Wicked people get blessings, get money, get jobs. In fact, they get more jobs than righteous people. They get more natural blessings than, than, than saved folk. It's the truth. Hmm. 
For if we judge, if we can mess around and be honest with ourselves, tell the truth on ourselves, that's just this first step. It's so difficult for people to admit when they're out of pocket and they're going against the most high and they need to stop. We can just start there. Folks is saved if you let them tell it whether they obey or not. They think it's normal. They think it's the it's it's they, they have the doctrine of I'm only human, which is true. You're only human. That's why he died. And that's why he said, You gotta be die. you gotta die. You gotta be baptized into his death. Because you're only human. The flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to what to us, so you can't do what you want to do. That's why. Because you're only human. You cannot do what you want to do because you're human. So you gotta be led by a spirit. If any man come after me, let him deny himself. You got you to gotta deny yourself or you ain't going to be able to walk with him. Amos, the third chapter, how can two walk together except they be agreed? They can't. Only way you can walk with Yah is if you walk in self-denial because the natural mind, the carnal mind is enmity, is hostile against Yah. It won't bow down to him. It's going to do what it want to do. You're going to have to just apologize to Yah over and over and over and over and over again. Unless you mortify, kill the deeds of the flesh, you ain't going to be able to walk with him. You got to kill, you, you got to kill your old nature. If any man be in the Messiah, he's new. You got to become anew. Be born again in order to enter into the kingdom, period. For if we judge ourselves, if we can be honest with ourselves, if you mean, you mean. If you're rude, you're rude. If you're a liar, you're a liar. If you're adulterer, you're adulterer. If you're a fornicator, you're a fornicator. If you come and go, backslide in and out. If you're stingy, you want support. You're not down for the things of Yah. You're more down with your personal life. Can you at least admit it? Because he wants to save you. He wants to help you. He wants to rescue you. The wrath of Yah abideth on the children of disobedience. He don't want to do to you what he planned to do to Satan and his children. But if you live like Satan and his children, he has no choice. So he's trying to call his children out of the darkness into the marvelous light. And he's going to do exactly that. But his children obey him. He said, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. My, my sheep do what I tell them to do. Period. That's just the bottom line. His sheep obey him. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. He don't want to judge you. You come clean. You, you Look, a scripture as simple as not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. You got to show up sometime. You can't, you can't forever forsake. You you got you got you got to you got to show up sometime if it's in, if if it's humanly possible. You should show up. Now, if you fellowship in, in, with a, with a ministry that that really is bringing the word, a real rhema word, and you're being transformed by the renewing of your mind, and and and, and you're, you're you're faithful to the ministry, and the word is blessing you, that's one thing. But if you're if you're capable of showing up. There is, you can't be excused from the responsibility. There could be provisions made, but you just can't completely forsake. You, you, we, we have to be faithful to the things of Yah. People are going to want to put Yah first when their personal business is destroyed. Like, say, during war or economy crash then people are going to have the revelation to put Yah first all of a sudden and for some people that would be too late according to Proverbs the first chapter because he said when I when I reached out to you you didn't want nothing to do with me but when your calamity come here you come but he said but I'm going to mock you when your fear come read it y'all read, read Proverbs the first chapter because dealing with Yah is real business it's death, burial, and resurrection. The, the son really did die on that tree. He was crucified. He, he was tortured. Yeah, he, he, it wasn't good what happened to him. And he was willing to go through that all because of sin, to pay for the sin debt, because the wage of sin is death. 
And that's why we see death all around us. Sin is serious, even though we're kind of like desensitized concerning sin, but it's serious. It's serious. And we see the results on planet Earth of what sin can do. It destroys everything. It destroys families. It destroys righteousness. Sin is so wicked that it flips and turns evil into good and good into evil, at least according to people. Definitely not according to Yah. But sin is deceitful. It is terrible. And it is a destroyer. And, and just because we're used to it, don't make it right. And you want to get away from it. And it is so bad that it is incurable. Sin is incurable. The only way you can get away from sin is to die. And that's why the Messiah died to pay for it. And then he gave us remedy to get away from it. His death. We were baptized into his death. That's serious business. You have to die out to who you are to be born again. To rise up to walk in the newness of life just to get away from sin. And when you do that, you got to be able to judge yourself. When you see yourself going contrary to the will of Yah, you got to be able to admit it. And people have a difficult time of doing that. But it doesn't stop there. I'm going to try to help you all today before I go, right? Listen, it's a difficult step for a person to admit a wife to admit I shouldn't be talking to my husband like that. Or a husband to admit I shouldn't be talking to my wife like that. It, it is hard for a person to admit I shouldn't be gossiping. I, 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 I should be assimilated. I should give more. Faithfully. I should care about the things of Yah. I should be witnessing more. I shouldn't, I shouldn't watch that much TV. Certain things I shouldn't watch on TV. You got to have the ability to judge yourself. Because he said, if you judge yourself, you won't be judged. Right? So admitting it is the first step. But look at this. Let me show you something else. Let me show you something in, in Proverbs 28 and 13. Y'all go with me. Proverbs 20 and 13 says, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsake, them shall have mercy. Watch this. If you want the mercy of Yah, which leads to salvation. If you want salvation, if you want the mercy of Yah, you can't cover your sins. You got to confess it and stop doing it. Mean repent. Mean turn from it. When you look at judging, right, when you go to court, the judge is judging you. And he also hands out a sentence to what you did. He's, he's supposed to hand out a sentence that will rectify the evil that you did. In theory, that's what he's supposed to be doing. And so for us to judge ourselves, it don't mean just to admit you're wrong. It means to correct it, judge it completely correct it and give remedy and the remedy is to stop doing it apology to yah is acceptable with the most high provided you stop doing it that's the true judgment so it's not just admitting it but people have a problem with just admitting it when you're around somebody to save you should you should get the fruit of the spirit. You should get lo lo love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, gentleness, meekness. You should get the word. You should get the ruah from being around them. You shouldn't get high and drunk. You shouldn't get some illegal love making, puffing a cigarette, searching the internet for ladies' night, half shirts get in half price. It, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't, it, that, you shouldn't, Daisy Duke, uh, Dirty Down Wednesdays, Split It Open Fridays. You shouldn't be involved in stuff like that. He that covers his sins should not prosper. Cover it, what, 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 what false doctrine? You're going to put, you're going to, you're going to put a doctrine on top of your wickedness and you're going to heaven. You can't cover your sins. You, you, you got to confess it. You can't turn a blind eye. You got to compare your lifestyle to the word. You got to examine yourself. 
based on the word, because your goal should be to walk circumspectly before the most high. You should be reconciled with the creator of all and he's love and he's righteousness. And we've been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. If you're going with the course of this world, this world is finna get destroyed. Heaven and earth gonna pass away. And this word is gonna be standing. This place is finna be destroyed, and you already know that, and you know why. How could you partake of it and not expect to be destroyed with it? We gotta judge ourselves. And judge ourselves is more than just admitting it. And we have a problem just admitting it. We got to start admitting some stuff. Start admitting what we're committing so we can not cover it, so we can confess it and forsake it that we might receive the mercy of the Most High. We need some mercy. We need a pardon. We need His love. We need, we need some help. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, look what y'all do. When we judge, we didn't judge ourselves. We're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep, you know, going with the course of the world. We're gonna be calling on his name and we're gonna keep sinning and, and judging. Judging is deep and it's just admitting it, because some of us will admit it, but we ain't gonna quit it. So he wants you to admit it and quit it. So to all of us that were admitting and quit it, he said, but when we're judged, that's when we were judged. But when we're judged, we're chasing. He'll start whooping you. Things will start going bad in your life. And he's doing that to wake you up before he have to judge you. And why he's doing it? That we should not be condemned with the world. He don't want us condemned with the world. So when things start going wrong, it's because we wrong. Those of us that belong to him. Those of us that want to be right, want to live right, want to see his face in peace. We, we, we call in trouble in our lives. For if we judge ourselves, be honest. And then correct it. Don't just be honest. Oh, I admit it. You know, I'm a rapist. I admit it. And then you're going to go rape again? Yeah, I commit adultery all the time. Yeah, I, you know, that's how I am. Have mercy on me, God. No, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, you're going to have to stop. You're going you're gonna to have to change. The flesh, the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. They're contrary to one to another, so you can't do what you want to do. You have to change. You have to stop. For if we judge ourselves, meaning correct it, then then y'all say, "Cool, I ain't tripping. I'm not gonna bother you." My goal is to transform you by the renewing of your mind. If you go through the transformation process, that's my goal. I already knew you were a sinner. Now what I want you to do is be transformed and stop sinning against me. Because the wages of sin is death. Whatever doctrine that give you permission to go against the most high, you still going to heaven, lied to you. Because that's exactly what the serpent teach. You should not surely die. Yah teaches you will. The wages of sin is death. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He did not change his mind. We got to repent. Some way, somehow, repent. You can't deliver yourself blameless before his presence. He'll do that if you're willing to repent. You don't have the power to stop sinning completely, but he do. And that's why greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. He baptized himself inside of you, give you the power to become a new creation. Allow him to do his job. Trust him, cast your cares upon him, knowing that he care, because he do. He care. He care. He can save you. He began to work in you. He can finish it. For if we judge ourselves, if, if we're honest, if we judge ourselves, he, he ain't going to bother us. Come on in to the joy of Yahuwah. Come on in. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Come on in to the joy of Yahuwah. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we're judged, you don't, you don't judge yourself? He got something for you. Keep crying out before him. He can help you out. You might not like it, but you'll like it in the end. Because it yields forth the peaceable fruits of righteousness to them that are exercised thereby. He'll send some stuff in, in your life to wake you up. He'll give you every opportunity to wake up. And if you don't, he know how to wake you up. But when we judge, we're chasing the yacht. Why? That we should not be condemned with the world. Because he do not want to condemn his children. Let's wake up, y'all.
let's um let's repent. Stop sinning. Let's stop sinning. Let's repent. We're running out of time. I'm not going to even keep y'all. Please repent. Let's repent. Let's come out of all sin. If you're a wife, be a wife. And, and walk in a wife's role. Don't, don't be this new type of women that the world creating. These masculine men type of women. Be a woman. Men, be a man. Man of Yah, take care of your family. Stand up. Stand for Yah. And lead your family to Yah. <laughs> your cousin, be a cousin. If your brother, be a brother. If your sister, be a sister. If your teacher, be a teacher. If your preacher, be a preacher. If you're part of assembly, support the assembly. 100% with your presence and your presence. Don't muzzle out the mouth, tread out the car, and give faithfully. You, would, you wouldn't want a job, you go to work, and, 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 and you expect to get paid, and you don't. That's one thing folks love to do. They love to get with folks. You don't get your money to them people. Well, you don't get your money to the crack man, and to the, to the weed man, and to the player. To, to your... To your If you're a part of a ministry, the workers say support it, period. And you're without excuse. Folks, uh, oh, I apologize. <laughs> hey, folks, stop giving in a minute. During these secular holidays and stuff, they forget about y'all. They, they want to preach and post about all these pagan holidays. Joker's got $1,600 worth of uh, firecrackers and, and won't support the ministry. <laughs> we got to be honest with ourselves. If we judge ourselves, be honest with yourself. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that easy. You have to be led by the rule. You got to belong to Yah in order to keep yourself in check, to watch yourself, know when you're wrong, and correct it and do right by Yah. You have to be honest with yourself. It's the pure in heart that's going to see Yahuwah. You got to be honest, pure, honest, and want to be with him. And you're, gonna, and you're willing to go through or give up whatever you have to to do it. First seek ye the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness and all this other stuff will be added to you. It's more than just righteousness. It's first seek, it's first seek ye the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness. You should be working in the kingdom and then living right by his righteousness. You should be about your father's business, all, not just trying to stop cussing and fornicating and all. You need to walk away. That stuff shouldn't even be named among us, the word teaches. You should be about his business, assembling and helping and participating. Corinthians, the 12th chapter, talks about the different gifts and administrations of a functioning ministry for Yah. Those are the people, members in particular, working together to get the job done. Folks is working to get their house and their personal stuff together. How many people is working for Yah's business? Showing up. Roll their sleeves up and showing up. Financially and physically. Can we be honest? Because this type of judge is admit that you're wrong if you're wrong and then correct it. That's what this is talking about. This is the judging that it's talking about. And y'all say, I gave you the word, you do it. Use the sword of the spirit. Use the sword of the spirit and cut that foolishness out your life using the word. And I'm not going to bother you. I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to deliver you blameless before my presence. Is that all right? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you as humbly as you know how. Gleaning in the truth of your word, we pray your word will forth with clarity, falling down in the souls of your children, springing up everlasting life. Uh, we pray that it was a simple word in simplicity and receivable by your children. 
We believe that the word was delivered with clarity and that it yield forth the peaceable fruits of righteousness to them that exercise thereby. Bring it to pass. We trust, believe, and thank you. And we decree this in the match of the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson for this morning. Wasn't long, straight to the point. Uh, I pray you meditate in it if you need to listen to it again. Um, if it blessed you, hey, you can push the share button. I want to thank everybody that supports this ministry. And uh, if you'd like to become a supporter, all I got to do is get the cash app and put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. My first and last name, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Uh, dollar sign Yahoo to Israel and so you'll see. Um, yeah, we're looking for uh, covenant partners. And so uh, we appreciate it. Pray about it. If the most high leads you this way, then obey. Uh, you want to talk about the word? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you being aboard this evening. Uh, Y'all be Baruch and Rocky Shalom. I'm gone.